got in a really big fight over a glass of milk. Well, you were asking for it. <laughs> back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Yay! If you're new here, my name is Mika. It's nice to meet you. Love you already. Today, we are making chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. If you're asking yourself, why do I need to watch a video about the most basic bitch recipe there is? And I'll give you two reasons. One, this is all vegan. Yay! Two, these are fluffiest, yummiest chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. I guarantee satisfaction or your money back in 30 days. Just kidding, you don't pay me. <laughs> Believe it or not, this recipe is from Betty Crocker. Homegirl makes some dope vegan cookies, okay? These are gonna blow your mind. So let's just get right into this recipe and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Fluffy goodness. Two thirds cup refined coconut oil, melted. Mine's already pretty melted because it's hot in California. It's going to have a strong coconut smell, but my boyfriend does not like coconut oil and he eats the hell out of these, so it really is good, I promise. Okay, so two thirds cup coconut oil, granulated sugar, brown sugar. Yummy. Now I want to combine those three ingredients until they're fully mixed. I just want to note here that I ended up microwaving this a little so my coconut oil melted fully. Also I forgot and just set my oven to preheat at 350. Now I want to stir in my oat milk and vanilla extract. So for the milk we're doing half cup, two teaspoons vanilla extract. If I go through vanilla extract like it's nobody's business. Mix it up. Make sure your coconut oil is really melted or else it'll get clumpy with the sugar. Okay, now flour. Two and a half cups. I wanna show you my view right now. Okay. Hi. One teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. He got up. Lovely. Okay, now for the good news and the bad news. It's time to stir in the chocolate chips. Bad news is we made pancakes the other day. So we don't have a whole bag of chocolate chips like the recipe wants. So I'll use what we have, which still might be enough. <laughs> if I need more, I'm just going to chop up some of this Nestle Abuelita bar. Okay, so I decided that this is enough chocolate chips for me. I'm not gonna add Abuelita's chocolate. So Miss Betty says, drop the dough, oops, by <laughs> rounded tablespoons, two inches apart, just like so. Now, I'm not a perfectionist, so they never look uniform, but the cookies don't judge you for that. I just personified cookies, so that shows you where I'm at in life. Almost five months in lockdown, Okay, these are getting progressively bigger. I will do the next batch bigger. My boyfriend and I like to do half of them, one tablespoon, and the rest of the dough, drop them by two tablespoons each. Okay, going in the oven for 11 minutes. So beautiful. They're done. Oh yeah. 
And believe it or not, these came out less fluffy than usual. I might have got my coconut oil a little too warm. That's my best chemistry guess from one summer cooking in Paris and watching the Great British Baking Show. Yeah, I feel like I might have got my coconut oil a little too warm, but they still look amazing. Actually, I'm gonna take them off, but I'm a savage and I don't have a cooling rack. Hope to in the future one day. I'm just gonna put them on my lovely cutting board. I left the dough in the fridge while these baked, so I'm taking it out now to kind of like warm back up or get closer to room temperature. These are better than any cookie I've had in my whole life that I can remember, vegan or not vegan. Okay, now it's time to do it again. Little bit of For some reason, I can't remember if these bigger ones take longer, so I'm gonna start at 11 and I'll let you guys know. Whoa, baby. Whoa. These look right. Yeah, yep, that's it. We're done! Do you see these? Do you see these? Do you see these? Six beautiful babies. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the big ones also baked for 11 minutes. So do with that information what you will. Okay, so they're done. And Sean won't be back till like midnight. Golden rule of relationships, you wait for the first bite for your loved one. So unfortunately, these are going to be wrapped up. And when he gets home, we will taste test it. So I'll see you then. Ain't nothing but a heart. Tell me why. It is now midnight. I changed into my stretchy pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tired. And he's tired. And we're gonna eat cookies. But first, milk. But first, I have a surprise for you. For me? Yeah, just a little something. What is it? Well, do you see it? No. I got a close up. I can't make you cookies. Without saving you, cookie dough. Oh, give me that. Don't oh. eat it now. Want it now? No, I'll eat cookies. First. Well, we can have a whole taste test. Okay. How are you doing it? I don't know. Warmed. Yeah. Duh, right? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, these look good. They're just not as fluffy as you. And I. I... Okay, what size are you going for? Small or large? I'm going for large. I'm going for large as well. And that's the T. Which one do you want? That one. Wow! I want... Um, will you pick me? That one. That was my second choice. It's a good bake. Yeah, it's that's the... quite hard. <laughs> Don't tell them that! Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Listen, we hate color when I <laughs> How stretchy are your... This is gonna be good. Ooh. Do you know how much personal strength it took not to eat one until I got here? I'm very proud of you. <laughs> but I told them, you wait for your lover. That's the golden rule of relationships. You don't take a bite without a lover. That's sweet. You, you just wanna go. <laughs> I mean, okay. I do. But I was wrong about the hardness. It's a good bite. Oh. How about a dip? Mm. 
You could sleep on this cookie. It's so <laughs> fluffy. Put that on my resume. So, mm. okay. On the the bake, would I be moving to the next round of the British Baking Championship? If I was a judge? Oh, you betcha. You are the judge. I did 10 seconds at first and then 10 again. So 15. <laughs> Guys, he didn't pass math. <laughs> okay, you want to try the dough? Yeah. <laughs> pass. Really? Yeah. Did you poison it? That's good poison. <laughs> Are you going home up? Yeah. This was a glossing though. <laughs> I really don't want to do this again. You did get a bite of it. We got in a really big fight over a glass of milk. <laughs> oh, the small ones are different. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. they seem? I love the small one. These are really good. They always are, I told them that. I told them this will be one of the best cookies they had in their life and I'm offering a 30 day guarantee or their money back. Oh my God, <laughs> that's a deal. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really recommend them cold. Yeah, they're pretty much awful cold. I also will say this. They've never turned out like that first time we made them. That was like a miracle batch. Mm. <laughs> Do you want it like up underhand? Yeah, how you did it first was amazing. Uh, okay. Pick me up! Oh, I'm so tired. Whoa! <laughs> I love you. Okay, I'd say it was a pretty good success. I do want to find out how the f we made them so fluffy the first time. These are good, highly recommended, warm. Maybe baked a little longer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. These were all on 11 minutes, so just figure it out. Does <laughs> that mean? <laughs> so f deal with it yourself. Sound like John Mulaney. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> okay, Sean likes them underbaked. They get a nine. I would give them a 10 if I bake them a little longer, I think. Should probably be microwaved, or at least don't put them in the fridge. Room temp or microwaved? Yeah. If you want to try to bake these, tag me in them. Show me online. That's exciting. We can all eat super yummy cookies together. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.